Thanks Matt, welcome back to the shop and today we're talking, uh, this should be five. <laughs> uh, this is the continuation of the camshaft drive. So one other way that you can do camshaft drive is you can use, um, ha ha in a sense, a hybrid design. I don't call it this, but a hybrid design, um, so to speak. So the SV is a good example. But what you can do is you can use uh, a mix of gears and then have a cam chain or pulley it is completely up to you you can use a cam chain or pulley so you can do um, a, a mix of the two basically so you can have your main drive to you know to basically um, traverse the biggest distance with a belt or chain and then you have gears here to uh, basically split that up. Why would you want to do this? You can actually make quite a slim head with this um, because you've just got your gears and then you can pull all this in like so um, instead of having uh, the chain having to go out and having all these blades and all the rest of it. And um, it also makes your cam chain quite tensioner, quite easy to work out. Um, you can have a smaller one if you want to put it that way. And then you have your big blades and all the rest of it. Why do we have, uh, it's something that quickly I want to mention as well is, why do we have blades um, on both sides? You know, you're pressing in this side. You basically just want a blade that just stops a lot of these slapping oscillations. Um, and basically just so you don't start slapping the inside of the block if you have a replaceable bearing material, weirdly enough. So in a sense you could say that these uh, blades are bearings because they are wearable uh, replaceable components that are a lot cheaper than just say your cylinder or something like that. Hope that makes sense and I'll see you in a bit. 